what, what, what has this kind of year been like for you having to be on the sideline? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's definitely been a toll on me mentally. So, like, I've been having to go to talk to people mentally, get my mental together. So, I mean, it's been good for me to be around my son, see him grow up. So, that's that's a positive part about it. How do you feel physically? Good. Yeah, like, good. Kind of, what's the, I guess, rehab like for you now? I mean, are you close to yeah. being able to do football stuff? Like, I mean, just for sure. Yeah, I'm, I'm really close to being doing, be able to do football stuff. I'm losing a lot of weight. As y'all can see, I look real skinny right now. So, <laughs> feeling good. How much weight do you think you've lost? A lot. A lot. A lot of weight. Yeah. Definitely. Yep. For is sure. This, is there something you can do to get past that mental hurdle since you've gone through this a few times? Nah, I don't think so. I mean, it's just it's just about knowing what's what's up, what's what's coming up ahead. So like that's that's all I've been looking forward to. I know what I'm about to do and what I'm gonna do. So that's all I've been looking forward to. Very excited to help out this yeah. team, seeing what they're gonna do on the field this year. Yeah, uh, yeah, I'm really excited. Okay, why do you believe your future is still bright? I mean. I supposed to. I mean, I'm not. I'm not gonna go down on myself or be down on myself. I mean, I'm. I know what I can do. It's that simple. Okay, what's been the key for you losing the weight? Just want to. Like it's just, just knowing that I need to lose it so my knee can be healthy and be able to su sustain a full season. How, how uh, motivated would you describe yourself as right now? Especially, you know, people have started to. I'm very motivated. I'm very motivated. I just want to go out there and get on the field. That's it. That's all. Yeah, you tweeted out uh, left tackle one uh, recently. Just the confidence that behind that, like, and how prepared are you? I'm real prepared. I'm real prepared. Like, what gives you that motivation? I mean, it's just, it's just what I do. I mean, it's, I mean, y'all didn't see me do it before, so I can't do it again. Everyone faces challenges, obviously, but I think the, the injuries that you've dealt with the first couple of years of your career, I, mean, I have to imagine it's probably a new set of challenges for you. So yeah. has it been humbling at all? I mean, has it kind of given you a, a better appreciation for it all? Yeah, it's definitely been humbling. I mean, it's, it's kind of hard when you get injured when it's not your fault for why you got injured, and everybody knows that, but people continue to point the blame on you and say it's your fault why you got hurt. So, yeah, it's definitely humbling for sure. You talked about how much uh, – I've just been working every day. I've been up here every day, been doing extra work, been in the weight room every day, doing extra cardio. I've just been putting in work. When we talked to you earlier this year, you kind of talked about how you need to listen to the tools from people. How have you kind of trained that recently as you've gone through this race injury? I just, the same thing, just using it as fuel. Just, they can say whatever they want. Do you think you've become better at dealing with it now? Yeah. Like after, after having it? Why do you think that is? I mean, because I know what I can do. And like, words not going to bother me at all. Is the motivation right now more external or internal? Both. What's your plan, Makai, for the next few months until things start off here again? Are you going to be back? Uh, I'm going to stay here. I'm going to stay here for a few. I got I got a new trainer out here. I'm going to work out with him. I'm going to come up to the f facility every now and then. So, I'm going to be around. How was, was it like uh, watching you know, as the team started off as high as they did? Uh, what was it like watching the team kind of get to that? I was excited for them. You know, guys walking around here happy. Everybody, I mean, it's this locker room, we were real close. So, like, that was that was really exciting for me. Yeah, definitely, I can't wait to get back, for sure. You and, you and ABT, I'm sure, have been together a lot in the training room. Have you guys talked about, you know, what you can do for this team? Together? Yeah, we always talk about it every day. I mean, how exciting is that possibility of you we're guys both excited. this? Yeah. yeah, we're both ready, for sure. Do you anticipate staying around here at the facility and, yeah. and for OTAs, will you even yeah, be here? Yeah, I'm going to be here. Yep, I'm going to be here. I ain't got no excuse. My son here now. <laughs> <laughs> You'll be looking for somewhere to go. The son's crying, right? Yeah. <laughs> what, what's dad life like? How you like it's that? fun. It's fun. So fun. He's starting to say dada and stuff, so it's real cool. Well, what's the best part about being a father this year? Him knowing who I am, like every time I walk, like say I go downstairs, I play the game, I come back up, and like I'll be on the phone with my girl. He'll be looking at the phone, but like when you hit a door open, he look right at the door and know it's me. So it's cool. It's cool the fact that he know who I am and call me Dada and stuff. With the first words, Dada. Yeah, of course. <laughs>